So, hi, Tito. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, Kiana. And okay. So, sorry? Thanks, Yukioto Publishing, for giving me this platform to speak about my book. Thanks a lot. Thank you for being here. So, how, how long have you been writing? Uh, it has been, I can't re recollect exactly, but it has been, a, I started writing around, uh, around high school. High school? Yeah. And um, I used to scribble a lot, uh, but those poems were very amateurish. Uh, and the concentration and the uh, uh, the effort was largely on uh, rhymes. Uh, but I moved away from it gradually. And uh, I kept reading a lot. So that helped me. Now it helps me a lot. I read a lot of authors and uh, different kind of kind of writers. So uh, this reading uh, helped me to understand the nuances. And later on, now when I write, it helps me to groom and polish my writing. Now, uh, since uh, after that, I kept writing off and on, scribbling and and um, I kept I kept a notebook with me and kept writing notebook. And, and then uh, there were pressures of work, and um, but despite those hectic schedules, uh, I never stopped scribbling, writing, uh, yeah, and. Uh, those became later on. Those I, I was able to convert those thoughts into poems, and that is how it is. And it was in 2016 that I lost my job, and I was uh, jobless for around four and a half months. I utilized that time to write my first book beyond words and between the lines and uh, it was uh, i wanted just i just wanted to share share my feelings with my readers and uh, um, it was basically uh, my experiences the the things that i've gone through in a nutshell and people liked it so i Followed it up with my second <laughs> title. Love Not. Uh, no, that was, this is my third one. Okay. C Cityscape. Cityscape was, uh, it's about uh, how you know, lopsided development and uh, unplanned urbanization is taking a toll on our health and happiness. So that is what, that was a theme. The, and, and then I wrote this love notes. Yeah. So that is how it is. So how would you say your writing has evolved over these years? Pardon? How would you say your writing has evolved over these years? Oh, it has evolved hugely. Yeah, it has seen a, it, it has transformed completely. As I told you that uh, my earlier writings were uh, you know, I used to invariably they were uh, more uh, slant. I, I used to I, I was more inclined towards you know writing poems that uh, used to rhyme rather than you know you know free. What happens in blank and free verse is that you are able to uh, there, there is a lot of freedom to express yourself. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and somehow rhymes, if, if they don't come to you very spontaneously, 
they sound very stilted no they they, they sound very posed so the, and the effort shows it reflects in your writing so that, that should not happen that should not happen it should be a very uh, poem has to be a very it, it has to be very as as spontaneous as as it can be so uh, and that is spontaneity i found that spontaneity in free verse in blank verse so that is how it has and since i have been uh, reading uh, different authors different kinds of i am able to appreciate their their kind of uh, uh, you know their kind of the, the way they use words the their innovation their innovative language and so in a way word, that influenced you uh, so what happens is that you are able to the, the your writing grooms grooms okay. you the the your your reading grooms your, your writing a writer is groomed by what he reads so so reading is very important that that's why i i always read different type of different kinds of writers and poets as well as other uh, novelists and fiction writers non fiction writers every type of so that is how it is okay so uh, in the blurb of this book you say love is an emotion with myriad shades yeah can you elaborate on that uh yeah sure see uh it is a very the, the emotion of love is very it's very diverse it's, it's uh you feel it gives you happiness the emotion gives you happiness but at the same time sometimes you feel sad it gives you a lot of joy it, it uh but at the same time sometimes it will hurt you it will wound you it will heal you so it it's a kind of it frees you it binds you so it's very intricate you sometimes you find in a maze and sometimes you find everything so clear it's crystal clear so that is how so uh, so these are the shades that's that's why i say it it has different shades love has different shades so um it, it's a very intricate it's a very it's a, it's a very i won't say it's a very complicated but uh it it is full of nuances this emotion is full of nuances so i have tr tried to you know unravel those nuances i've tried to touch upon those subjects those emotions those feelings and Uh, expressed try to express them in my words although it's just a, it's i have been able to uh, touch only the contours you know it's very difficult it's uh, it's so profound it's so deep that uh, you can't you can you can just uh, you can just go through this i mean you 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 feel that you have written uh, a lot about but then you feel so empty within despite writing so much you feel so empty within no you, you find that i have to write so much more there is so much more to tell the readers about it so you say this again in the blurb that um, you cannot art articulate all its intricacies that that's what you i mentioned saying. that in the blurb and yeah. uh, so clearly you try to articulate it in this book so because the, the, how the, far the, do you think you succeeded with that uh, that that is that is a uh, that that judgment has to be made by the readers i <laughs> I I've, i've tried my best i've tried my best um okay. but as i'm saying it's so the facets there are so many facets to love there are so many facets that you can't you can't ex you can't uh, capture them all in one book it's very difficult you just that's why i'm saying that you are you are able that that's only the surface you have to go you have to delve deeper and deeper so more books you need to write more about love 
about. And another thing is that uh, it's it it's a uh, it doesn't come in a day. No? no. This this the 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 process of this book. You know, it has been. I've been writing uh, these poems and reworking on them for the last seven eight years. It's not just that it had it had it has come in just one year or two years. No, it has been over the years over a period of period of time, a long period of time. Okay, so the contents. If you survey the contents, um, it starts out with meeting and madness, and then passion, and then strain and pain. So yeah. at one glance, it looks like phases of a relationship. Is that something you did intentionally, no. or once you wrote it, you realized? You, you see, actually, I didn't set out to write. As I said, okay. I didn't actually. I didn't set out to write uh, this book uh, on love. I didn't think that I will write a book. Uh, on love, on you know, uh, love points. But what I noticed uh, over the years, after going through my writing, my compositions, I found that uh, many of these poems uh, were were revolving around uh, love. So I thought, why not? Why not? Uh, you know. Uh, put them together, put them together in a book. It should not, but it. I, I made, I made it very. Uh, it, it was a, a very conscious effort that I. I didn't. I didn't want that it should look like a sound like a comp compilation. Okay. Yeah. It has to. It has to. A, it's not a, a compilation of uh, poems, and you put them together and call it. You know these 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 are the you can't it has to have a coherence. Okay. Uh, there has to be a flow in what in in your uh, the in your collection in your comp whatever you you are able, what whatever you compile it has to have a coherence. So and that that coherence has to be good. I I the effort more than the the poems were there. My uh, writings were there, my compositions were there, but a lot of time was required. I, I spent a lot of time in uh, bringing up, bringing about this coherence, the free flow, which is which is the most essential part of any book, any book you write. So that coherence and it worked because it comes across as if you're telling a story through these various phases in the book. Uh, that has to be decided. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That reader has to feel it that way. Uh, it's not. It's, the, the, uh, uh, there shouldn't be any jerks, you know. Yeah. In, uh, in, uh, when you are going in a car, there, uh, you, you shouldn't feel that uh, you're getting jerked. That the journey has to be smooth. It has to be a smooth journey. So then you then you enjoy it. You enjoy the journey. So that is how. And. I thought that, as you said, that why why it has been divided. Yeah, it, there are four sections in the, and this was done only because I wanted my readers to better understand the various stages stages of love. Now, uh, phases or stages, whatever. But it's not that uh, there is a uh, thumb rule that this is how it is going to happen. Uh, yeah, the first meeting and madness, then uh, passion and proximity, and then strain and pain, and then uh, resetting and reflection. It can, there can be overlaps. There can be overlaps in the. So it's it's a it it, it there these are phases, but at the same time, they they I can't say that they these these phases will go uh, like. It 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 can be it there there can be the, poor, the passion can come and then again uh, the pain can come proximity can come again and uh, then you can feel uh, uh, the the relationship that is how a relationship uh, transforms you know it takes a lot of a uh, lot of effort and a lot of it takes a lot of different kinds of uh, 
uh, it's an emotional journey. So you can't say that it's a, it's phase of love that will. Uh, it, it's a not. It's a not a. Uh, uh, there, there are things that that you might not expect ha happening in the. Uh, so it's it. You you uh, you can loosely say that it's different stages of love, but but you can't always. There there is an overlap. So Definitely. I don't know how to explain it, but. No, no, it's fine because various people have different experiences with it as well. So yeah. you can't just, you know, put it in a box and say like this is one way. Yeah. It's... Uh, so, so what was your process like? Yeah. At what point did you decide that you want to bring all these poems together and you know really work on them and publish them in this book? That is how uh, the. The process was very gradual, as I as I told you. But, uh, when I realized that I have written uh, so many poems which are uh, which talk about love, I decided to bring out I mean put them together and uh, bring out this book. So uh, that is how it, it was. Then I thought that I should make it simpler for, for the readers. So I. Uh, Categorized them, categorized. So how that is how. So now. So uh, do you have a favorite piece that a piece of work from the book? It's very difficult to you know. <laughs> it's my baby. It's like my baby. So uh, you can't single out one uh, child, one one of them. So, but yeah. Uh, a few of them required needed a little more care. So okay. yeah, so that's wonderfully put. <laughs> you, you know, there there are many. You have many. You you have many children now. Mm -hmm. The baby, but some of them are they they are weak. You, know, you need you need to group. I mean, tend them more a carefully. Little more. Yeah. A little more. You know, they they need extra attention. So that is how it is. True. But all of them uh, are your babies. Okay, I'll make this a little easier for you. Like, like we spoke about the stages that you've written as. Which mm -hmm. was your favorite to write out of those stages? I will, I will share. I will share one with you. One, one of okay. one of the points here. It's a very short point, very brief, just two lines. Okay. This is on page two twenty one. Sharing. I will share my sunset with you and admire the twilight on your face. That's nice. It's lovely. So, so uh, yeah. Sorry, continue. Yeah, another one that uh, was, it's a very, another very short one. Identity. This is page 178. To think. Our hearts are one, isn't love. It is in fact a fallacy. To realize that we are two different separate entities and getting merged in the pure admiration of this distinctiveness of each other's souls is love. That's nice. So I, I have one more question for you regarding yeah. like writing poetry. Yeah. Um, Actually, you see, I'm not a very good public. I mean, I'm not a very good speaker, public speaker. I can't. That's speak not much. a problem at uh, all. Uh, you can make it, make it out from my conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, writing poetry, there's a thin line between keeping it, keeping the emotions and feelings raw and authentic, and having it very aesthetic on paper and very well phrased. So, how do you tread through that? Uh, I mean. See, uh, the first foremost thing that a writer should have is truthfulness. Hmm. One has to be very honest in what one is writing. The words should be a reflection of your honesty, your integrity. That is the most important thing that a writer should have. Other things will follow. You can, you can learn the language, but 
that when you conceive an idea, it has to be very honest. That idea in itself should be very honest. And when you have that honest idea with you, language won't be a barrier. That's you, lovely. You, 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 can, you can say it in different ways, but you have to be very honest about what you want to convey to the people. You have to be honest with yourself. That, that truthfulness has to be there. If that truthfulness is there, then the intensity of thought and uh, the, the authenticity, as, as you said, it, it, it will reflect, it will, it will show in your thing. Your, 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 your words will be a mirror of your honesty. So that is how it is. Okay. So you hmm. said there are many more books to, to articulate love. So are uh, we yeah. going to see any of that uh, anytime soon? Uh, not on love, but then uh, I'm working on, on another book. You are? Yeah. On Can you tell book. us anything about it? Uh, it, is, it is a spectrum of, of thoughts. So uh, more about, uh, I, would, I wouldn't be, a, I mean, it's a very, uh, it's a very diverse type of, it's a, it's a different type of, so once it, I'm able to, you know, draft it properly and shape it, it's, it's still in the primary stages, so it's difficult to say how it you know, shapes up the, the, the final product. So, but it will, it will be, uh, it will have many, it's, it's not just love, it will be different emotions. I think I'm going to cover in my book, in my next book. So, okay, we are very excited for that. <laughs> Thank you. So, Sirtu, this is my last question to you. Do you have any advice for aspiring writers? Yeah. That, as I said, that uh, be, be very honest with yourself. That is the most important uh, trait. It should, it, you, should, you should be very honest about your thoughts about your words and be innovative in your language. Try to, try to, you know, uh, try to say something in a different way. You know? Try to find ways, different ways to say it. You, you don't have to say it uh, See, uh, this is this is very it is very important that the writer uh, experiments, and it's it's through th these trials and experiments that you, he will arrive at a, his new style. He will develop in his own style only when he tries new things. If he keeps on uh, saying the same, uh, uses uses the same language, then. And then people will also also appreciate you for the for your new way of saying things. You know, so okay. these are two things. And then uh, try. You know, you, you should you should uh, read read a lot. Try reading a lot because you know what you read reflects in your writing. Writing. You 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 become a uh, you become a good writer only when you read different people. So uh, and appreciate good writing, appreciate and be positive. Have faith in yourself. That is mo most important. You should have faith in yourself, in your writing, in your words, in your ideas. That is most important. That's lovely. Tito. Thank you so much for coming here and being a part of this for Thank us and doing this interview. Thanks a lot to you so and your team. It was team. lovely talking to you. Thanks to your team. Thanks yeah. a lot. Okay. And for those of y'all watching this at home, Tito's book link will be in the description box. So y'all can go directly to our site and purchase it. And we're signing out now. Thank you so much, Tito. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.